to buy Bitcoin right now? A lot of people are asking me this question and I'm going to answer that question in today's video along with a lot of different questions like how is the stablecoin dominance looking? How high Bitcoin actually can go within this pump? We are going to have a look at our longer term time frame. We are going to have a look at some other data and a little bit of the narrative that are going on. And if we have some time at the end of this video, I will still share two altcoins that I'm watching as I think right now is really the moment that you want to be looking for altcoins so guys drop a thumbs up and let's jump straight into it Hey guys, the most asked question that I get right now from people is should I buy Bitcoin right now? And I would honestly say like it is very difficult to answer that question. But being such overstretched, I wouldn't personally be entering Bitcoin at these specific levels. I think that's the reason why it's so important to enter at, for example, a four year low time frame because uh, or maybe here even, but this would even be a little bit more sketchy than there because it is such a safe way when you really get that four-year cycle low based on time uh, that you roughly roughly scale in, right? If you go a little bit late in this time frame, it would also still be okay. But right now, we just know with Bitcoin, sooner or later, we will get a correction. But whenever that will happen, we just don't know. But the risk-to-reward ratio is basically less profitable the higher bitcoin goes so i personally if i were to be looking for new entries on bitcoin i would personally wait until we have like a 20 or 30 percent correction and we get we get some clear signs over in derivatives exchange data maybe over in the stablecoin dominance that shows us what's going on and if i really miss this bitcoin boat i would maybe more be looking to go into some nice altcoin positions, maybe even Ethereum, because most of the time they will catch up after Bitcoin. Like I said, guys, this is not financial advice. This is just a lot of people asking me, should I buy Bitcoin right now? And it's definitely a little bit late. So we have been very, very bullish right here, exactly at the bottom. I have been very bullish right here. We've predicted this low basically with the 60 day cycle low. Here I have been very bullish. The only mistake that I did make was that here I turned also bullish while we actually came down. And when we lost all these key, key moving averages right here, then I would say there was a likelihood that we are going to see lower levels. However, the moment we broke back above it, that was the moment I went back into the Bitcoin price and... Yeah, when we actually said, okay, our bias is changing because we're clearly breaking some key levels again. So we have to remain bullish on then until we actually break these levels to the downside again, which we like clearly didn't do. So definitely, it's definitely important to have some things in place that can shift your bias now and then. That's why it's also important to have that long time, longer time frame perspective. And like I said in my previous videos, guys, we actually made a lot of videos that I say that this thing could break out to the upside. Why? Because we actually saw that exactly in 2020. So 2020 right here also, we had like this rising wedge formation uh, right here. Also consolidating higher, just breaking out to the upside, just continuing this move. And look what Bitcoin did afterwards. We just had massive increases in the price. And did we really get pullbacks? No, not that much. So yeah, definitely crazy and Bitcoin can go way higher than the levels that we are trading right now. But we all know guys that sooner or later we will get that 20-30% pullback, massive liquidation event, a lot of longs that will get uh, wiped out of the space. Will that happen right now? I don't think so. I don't think Bitcoin is done here yet. We, we just broke 44k, we still holding above 44k. And I've said that also guys, the moment we broke above 38,500 and the moment we actually broke down on this fall wedge on the stablecoin dominance i've been very clear also over on will alerts but also over on the channel the moment we broke 40k i did even a live stream that if this thing breaks down we can see way higher levels this is actually extremely bullish for bitcoin because it's just crazy how this structure is looking so bearish, a falling west formation, breaking down uh, and I, I also said as long as we don't reclaim this level 
Bitcoin can see 46, 47. We can even go to 50, even go higher than that. But it is important, guys, to not lose the view of the longer term time frame. And this is the, the macro chart that I'm basically uh, sharing over on the channel already for since since a very long time. We have these regular four year cycles and what we actually like what Bitcoin is doing right now is exactly what we have been predicting and have been expecting with Bitcoin. The only thing that confused me myself a little bit was this dump, this shakeout, this shakeout caught me emotionally because we lost a lot of key moving averages but um, generally i could flip my bias again when we broke back above those key moving averages but bitcoin is exactly doing what we have been saying right here at the bottom and a, a plan is very powerful when the plan is early made and the plan is being followed so right now i've been saying we have seen that four year cycle low roughly in november we even said that it will be between 20 and 12 thousand us dollars well it was 15 thousand us dollars that was also pretty good in terms of uh in terms of target you can see this beautiful uh, big rising channel right here where we have that low right here it's, it's just more be more beautiful <laughs> it, it cannot be right then i also said right now we get an early acceleration in this bull market that's already different than any previous bull market guys so here we have like this this bull market looks already way different than this one and this bull market also looks way different than the one we have right now this bull market might look might look might be the one that looks a little bit more similar but what i've been saying already early on right here at the four year cycle low based on that 16 year cycle we will get an early acceleration and this is definitely an early acceleration and if this will continue if this trend continues i'm also expecting an early top and a lot of people did talk about super cycles and everything and that's all possible and i will be prepared for those scenarios as well but i'm not going to be the fool again after uh, having two after having two bull markets where i didn't really took a lot of profits uh, for example right here and right here that right now i'm definitely going to take profits as i do think and i have a lot of a lot of data backing that up basically i do think a big recession is coming in 2024 five or six right in that time frame i think something really big is going to happen we are going to see a massive shift in the market psychology we are going to see a massive shift in the world and i basically want to prepare for that and I want to prepare in such a way that even though if Bitcoin does have that super cycle, I'll still profit from it. So yeah, guys, I'm looking at the early top, maybe in quarter one of uh, 2024. And then I'm, I think uh, I will leave the markets for some time, wait till it's correct. Maybe we can enter uh, once we have seen a correction, depending if what the market data is telling us. But maybe we just... Um, yeah, maybe we are going to see a very long bear market for Bitcoin. But yeah, it's not something you want to be focused on right now. Right now, we're just starting this bull market. So uh, for the guys that are wondering, the green one is the acceleration zone. Uh, the yellow one is the is the point where we could see that top based on the 16 year cycle. And the red one is that uh, yeah multi-year long bear market that we could see. And why do I see it for the people that are new right here? Well, for sure make sure to subscribe because you are being updated about this idea but the reason that i have this idea basically is because the dot-com bubble did exactly the same thing exactly the same thing and that was also a new technology that was the internet and this is this is internet is also the way a new way of processing information bitcoin is also a new way of processing information right so maybe saying that ai ai is going to be the next you know the next hype so we are seeing early signs of that already right now but after having such a secular bull market it just makes sense to sooner or later get a secular bear market or a bigger correction from that longer term uptrend as well and not only from that four-year bull market a correction no we have a bigger correction from that longer term uptrend right so dot com bubble did exactly the same thing i've made a lot of videos about that 16 year cycle google it on my channel you will find it i made really a lot of videos about it right here late 2022 uh it was definitely powerful as right now this is it just looks like it's playing out 
Then guys, let's go to the news for today. First of all, I want to give a quick reminder to every single one of you. If you are interested in joining Will Alerts, which is a private Telegram channel where I'm uh, posting a lot of setups, trading setups for altcoins, trading setups for Bitcoin, more information than you get right here on the channel. You can do so by joining one of these exchanges down below. Right now, Bing X created a special bonus for the community of the blockchain today. So you can basically get a free 100 US dollar test and you, the only thing you need to do is you need to uh, sign up with the affiliate link down below and then you can claim that 100 US dollar tether you can use that uh, for trading you can open a free trade 20x leverage for example long or short on bitcoin or any altcoin so basically you can open a free trade that's only for new users and do take in mind it's only allowed to have one uh, account per person then guys if we look at the Bitcoin futures open interest on the CME, then we're almost near an all-time high, as you can see in this chart right here. And I just want to say with this chart that there is a lot of interest in Bitcoin, right? There's a lot of institutional interest in Bitcoin, uh, but there's just generally a lot of interest in bitcoin but it looks like that retail has not really yet arrived so it's not only institutions that are interested in bitcoin it's also countries so we can see right here max kaiser reports of rumors that qatar's sovereign wealth fund has entered the bitcoin market and could be interested in purchasing up to 500 billion worth of bitcoin well if that were if that were to be the case bitcoin's price would skyrocket because these amount of numbers to enter the bitcoin market cap with actually such low amount of bitcoins available on the market this is kind of insane i'm not saying that this is this is directly true don't get me wrong i don't want to spread uh, like fake rumors right here but i do want to give you the idea uh, or like make you aware of the fact that a lot of institutions big powerful institutions like cme and countries are getting more and more interested in Bitcoin. We see it. The new president of Argentina is very pro-Bitcoin. We even see Greta Thunberg being positive on Bitcoin. So yeah, guys, a lot of powerful, influential people in the world that have positions that can really change certain things in the system getting pro bitcoin so this is also what uh, should be here in part in terms of the cycle right in this cycle we should see these signs as well we should see institutional money because without institutional money or countries that are buying bitcoin we we are not going to get to these levels we are not going to get to maybe a hundred thousand us dollars right we need a lot of liquidity and if only retail is going to buy bitcoin we probably w won't go to a hundred thousand us dollars we need real institutional money uh to come in like 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 these kind of things 500 billion from one country you know other countries that are following these type of events really can drive the price of bitcoin guys that will be actually pretty pretty crazy so definitely something what we are seeing right now the positive news also belongs to this part of the cycle which is the acceleration part of the cycle this will be gone with good news the yellow part will be gone with like extremely good news until the whole market is convinced that bitcoin is going to infinity and that the dollar will collapse and that is the moment that bitcoin will top out most likely and we'll see a correction again so the question whether that will be in this yellow zone right here or whether that will be later as a regular four-year cycle it's not clear right now but that's that's this that's something we are going to follow on this channel that's why it's important that you are yeah that you stay connected if you want to hear about these stories anyway so I told you at the beginning of this video I might uh, share some outcomes with you and I will do that um definitely guys so leave a thumbs up if you can appreciate that this video already takes a little bit longer than planned but let's have a look at some altcoins because i just think that right now after bitcoin is making its rally we are going to see profits that people made with bitcoin flowing into altcoins and most of the time that won't happen until bitcoin completely topped right bitcoin really needs to completely top uh before that actually happens but nevertheless you can already prepare for that and let's open uh, some altcoins that i think are actually looking good i'm going to share two today first of all i'm going to share with you dydx and this is also uh very powerful guys because this this token we have traded two times 
two times over on will alerts for the ones that don't know will alerts this is a private telegram channel where i'm posting uh, setups for altcoins but also setups for crypto in general i'm posting extra videos there i'm posting images uh, charts over there you can basically join the servers by joining Bybit, Bing X, or BigGet with the affiliate link down below. Meet the deposit requirements and submit your user ID right here. But we did trade DYDX two times. We did buy in this green box right here. We did sold at the top of the range. We had, yeah, this is a 144 percent increase right but let's say if you wouldn't have that perfect you would you would make over a hundred percent right here and this was also outperforming bitcoin this trade made a hundred percent this was in 2023 this one was also 2023 we also made a hundred percent guys this was the most easiest trade we just came to the bottom of the channel we buy we buy spot or you buy long whatever you want to do i did it with spot thing goes up sell at resistance then just wait for this thing to correct back at support i have alerts already set we buy here we come up to the resistance and i remember i posted to take profits right here in the will alerts channel exactly on the day that this was entering the green zone so people could take profits on time this was a very beautiful trade right now it's coming down again so i'm definitely planning on buying this token again although i don't know if this is going to go down to the bottom of the range again or that we right now going to have somewhat of a um, form of resistance acting as support i think that is quite likely in this case because uh because i think dydx is pretty bullish and also not only against us dollar tether but also when we have a look at bitcoin we are back in the green zone this is dydx measured against bitcoin so we outperform Bitcoin also pretty good with these trades that we did over on DYDX. And right now we're back in the green zone. So definitely it also starts to look more favorable uh, against Bitcoin. And why is DYDX so nice of a token? Well, it's an exchange. It's a decentralized exchange. Decentralized exchanges, in my opinion, are going to do pretty good this bull market. That's why we have another decentralized exchange that is GMX. Also, we're trading this one um, right here. We have a nice breakout this is against us dollar so this is a nice breakout consolidating i expect this one to continue to the upside and gmx against bitcoin um yeah we don't really have a confirmation yet that we leave this so but we also back into these range lows so if we just make a range right here from gmx against bitcoin then you can see that we're back at the range low so of course can it go lower yes does the risk to reward ratio look favorable right now right here yes it does it is at its lowest point and often we see end of december january out seasons uh, popping off left and right and in terms of time it also would really make sense so yeah guys these are the two altcoins that i shared with you right now uh, that are both looking good against us dollar tata but also looking good against bitcoin these are definitely some altcoins that i'm dipping my toes in i have some smaller altcoins that i shared over on world Lords as well so guys if you are interested in joining this service which is completely for free and all the profits that are being made with the fees that are being collected from you trading on one of these exchanges are all going back in further development of will portal and i can already tell you right now guys it's going to be very interesting we're having some updates because we are adding Chainlink and solana to the platform so right now you can also check uh things that are going on with Chainlink, and you can check of course what is going on with solana as well so pretty awesome guys a lot of things are a lot of new things are coming right here this is just the start and we're definitely going to see some nice um yeah, nice things over on this website but okay guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a thumbs up if you want to claim your free 100 us dollar tata over on bing x an exchange where you don't need any kyc you can check out the link down below in the description guys i want to wish every single one of you a beautiful day today um yeah and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video bye bye